Hello. Wow. Hey. 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 Can you all hear me? Yes. Loud and Great. Clear. Thank you. Can you hear this? Excellent. Very oh. good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, yeah, good to be here. Hello, everyone. You're all little squares, like a little mosaic. Um, <laughs> it's lovely to be here together. And um, before I go into talking, I'm just going to sing something, actually, and then I'll do a bit more talking. Between the midnight and the dawn, the stars still shine as new life is born. The faint glimmer of the new day shines through the night. As the darkness fades away, stirrings of light with no sign of sunrise, dreams come alive to half waking eyes. The senses drink in the timeless pool. Woven with the morning at the new day's dawn. And between the last breath and the first, a spark glows in the seeds the word is spurred. A space appears for new life to come through In the deep heart of stillness All can be renewed <laughs> Thank you uh, It's weird not hearing you It's really weird not hearing you But hello, I can see some lovely people I know And lots of other lovely people I don't know Hi, Pete and Jovi. It's so good to see you. Hello. Hey, Anna. Hey, Meg. Uh, who else can I see? Um, I know my my mum and dad were on here a while ago, so I hope they're still there. Um, that's really nice. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome to this, the Zoom hearth fire of the Sacred Heart Collective. Thank you so much, Damesh, for putting this whole thing on and masterminding it. Um, I'm kind of staggered. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm calling in here from from England, South England, and um, yeah, grateful to be joining you all here with music, even if it's really weird, <laughs> like not hearing you and everything. So um, so yeah, lots of love to you all, and um, and thank you to the other artists. Thank you to Ravi who we just heard um, for sharing his core and guitar and singing. Um, yeah. So, and, and thank you as well to those listening later. Hello, if, you, if you're tuning into this later via streaming, and, and hello and welcome to all of you. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share a bit of gratitude for kind of, I'm guessing we're all tuning in from different places on the globe, or at least a lot of us different places in the UK. Um, just a bit of unifying gratitude for all that supports us in nature, um, the earth, the sun, moon, stars, all the waters, and um, this crazy and nuts and brilliant technology that allows us to, to join here in this, this mosaic of loveliness. Um, the wonderful workarounds that humans have, have come up with. And also, yeah, thank you to the, the ancestors and all the, the wisdom teachers in various lineages, and thank you to the unborn generations. Um, and we're kind of standing in between those two in this this kind of arc of um, or line of of kind of flow between the old and the yet to come. So yeah, thank you to, to all that supports us in nature, all the beings, the the variety of be beings and and um, plants, animals, fish, all sorts of things. Um, yeah, so thank you, and and may that kind of help to bring us together a little even though we're all in slightly different places um i'm curious 
maybe now that if it would be possible so much to, to do a kind of a little bit of an interactive unmute everybody and do some crazy music workshop stuff <laughs> with everyone <laughs> give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if that's not i, I, I tell you what has worked in the past yeah like the craziness doesn't work but an om does work mm. and has a certain way you know they just it does seem to if we're all harmonizing an om can go very well that's an awesome idea would it be possible now just quickly to to unmute everybody and we'll try something and i'll yeah. I'll, I'll try something that won't be chaos. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I'll I'll allow everybody to unmute themselves. Here we go. So yeah, if you'd like to, then click on mute. Um, so among among the, the things that I do, I do, I do um, music workshop stuff, and um, some of the fun games is conductor. So. If you'd like to, we're going to kind of just pick pick a note, or it's basically responding to the movement of the conductor. Um, so we're going to start abstract, and it'll be really weird, and I'm going to do some shapes, and you can do like that. Or play with volume, play with different textures, whatever sounds you can make with your mouth. I'm going to do a little sound piece just so we can kind of hear whoever wants to be heard. So when you're ready, if you're unmuted, I'm going to start now. It's basically like musical play. <laughs> If you have hung out with the early years too much, and yeah, so also, and then going in from that into wherever you are, if you're muted or unmuted, pick a note, it can be around this chord, and we can all just sing a little note together. <laughs> to bring our voices together, even if it's unheard, so. done thank you thank you for going with me on that um so thank you i'm going to invite you all to be muted again by smash if that's okay <laughs> thank you very much smash for going with me on that and um yeah without further ado i'd like to Shake up your soul, in the hearts of the people, in the hearts of the 
lovely dancing and hello Harry and mom and dad that's great lovely to see you dancing waving thank you and your smiles oh my gosh hey Emma and Coco wow cool and Vicky oh, and Mara there's so many lovely people here hello thank you all for joining um, if you're joining now um, the program is running behind so we're about an hour behind uh, my name is Jack Dirtnell and I'm gonna be playing from 10 till 11 um, thank you so much. Okay, great. Lovely, lovely dancing and, and uh, yeah, thank you. Um, okay. Um, next, I'm going to do a song called Dust and Dreams. Wake it up to the Dust and 
Thank you. Thank you. And hey, Rianne. Hey, uh, hey, everyone. Thanks, Pete and Joby. Love you both. Hey, everyone. Okay. So, I've got a, another song now. Um, this one, okay, so this one on this call that is Vicky, I've seen Vicky, and we were part of a lovely Nature Connection um, year course program, and Vicky led it, um, co-led it, and, um, and we did this kind of, this fire quest where you stay up all night with a fire, and you tend this fire from, from, from its birth to death, um, and the intention is to, um, to kind of allow the embers of this fire to go out as the, the sun rises on the next day. It's a really beautiful um, experience. So that was the second one I did, I did that with Vicky, um, facilitating it. And, but on the first one I ever did, in the middle of the night, I was kind of moving around and to keep warm and everything. And, um, and came, this song came through, and it's, it's kind of like an intention song. It's called There's a Chamber. There's a chamber within my heart, way down low within my heart, way down low. There's a chamber within my heart, way down low within my heart, way down low. Let it open within my heart.
you. Nice to see some percussion instruments as well. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. It's lovely to see you all. Um, okay, so ah, oh, there's actually like a quieter song I'd like to do now. Um, and this song I actually wrote. Excuse me, it's lovely voice. Okay, this song I actually wrote um, at a dear friend of ours called Vanessa's place in France, and she kind of recently moved there with her partner and young son, and um, and we were visiting um, as a wider family, and it was really lovely to to be at the gathering there. And there's this old ruined. Um, farmhouse on the side of a hill where me and um, the sons of some of my friends, these, these young kids, went and explored and found like barn owl feathers and saw a kestrel flying out of it and, and you could probably hear a tawny owl near there at night. Um, and so that, that's the setting in, in the spring where I wrote this song. Um, yeah, and, and at this place there's nightingales and I even pitched a tent under this tree where a nightingale had been the night before, and just it was really difficult to get to sleep because it was so loud, but really beautiful. Um, so, this song is called True You.
Thank you. I'm going to check out who's on page two of the gallery because there's more people. That's nice. Great to see you all. Thank you so much for coming and being here. For those, if you just tuned in, just joining, um, the schedule's running about an hour behind. My name's Jack Dirt, and I'm playing between 10 and 11. And then, um, and then the schedule will continue after that. So um, thank you for all being here. Um, oh, Anna just joined. Hi, Anna. Um, <laughs> thanks to all the people here who, um, firstly, who I don't know for being here. It's so lovely to see you all. And also thank you to all the people here um, who have supported me, inspired me, um, shared friendship with me, um, just been great friends. Um, yeah, feeling lots of love for you all. Thank you. Um, yeah, and oh, Misty, hey, Misty, hey. Um, okay, right, right, right. Um, what am I doing next? So, oh yeah. So I do a little bit of a kind of a gentle moment in the set. This is the Manx lullaby, which is a traditional song. I actually first heard through Anna singing, I think. Became a bit of a dyslexic pigeon there, but I hope that was audible. Thank you all. Um, oh, so lovely to be here. Thank you all for joining. Okay, right, next, what's coming next? I'd like to do a song called The Tide. And um, I played this on many a Nature Connection camp. Um, it's one of my favorite songs I've written, so hope you enjoy it. It's a joy to share it with you all.
are the sun fades clear and the moon will soon be laughing down as our eyes rest again on the same cold sphere on our eyes see beauty the ocean's crown and the turning on the tide the tide and the time waves on your shore silence and the roar that comes across the space and time between our walls as i feel your senses call and our hearts pitch and roll on the swell of the tide starting to feel really cozy getting used to you all thank you so much for joining um got time for a few more songs and um yeah actually a fair few more songs and um my name is jack for anyone who's just joined and um you're very welcome all of you thank you for being here i would next like to do a a semi-traditional song because this tune is a very very old ancient traditional tune from Wexford in Ireland. Um, however, this is a rewriting of it, and it's rewritten by a man called John Renborn, and I know it through the singing of Jackie Oates. And it's called the Wexford Lullaby instead of the Wexford Carol. Same tune, different song. Um, and yeah, I find the song really inspiring, um, quite magical. There's lots of shape shifting in it by the feel of it. Um, the last verse is full of ancient lore and legend and, and, and natural and, and, and elements of nature. And the last verse of it um, speaks about the tradition um, in these islands here of, um, of humans kind of coming from somewhere else and not sure exactly where, um, especially in Ireland, there's many stages of, of um, influx of of people to Ireland um, from the first the first wave of people with Cesare and Finton to the Milesians and the Tuatha de Danann and all sorts of people but um, there's, a, there's also a tradition that they came from the west and the western lands being this kind of far off mystical unreachable place but not talking about America it's somewhere else um, perhaps what in other stories is called Tien and Oak and in the last verse um, the land of the young so Tina Nogue means the land of the young. In the last verse, the singer talks about, you shall stand on the coal black sands. And I've been to a place that exists, that is 
like that, this place in Iceland, Reykjavik, where there are these basalt, hexagonal basalt columns in a black beach, and it's something out of Tolkien almost. Um, but I can just imagine um, setting off to the western lands from that beach. Um, yeah, also in the second verse, there's, there's talk of otters and, and, um, and deer and salmon. And um, just to give a brief sense of this, this story of the first wave of humans to land on Ireland, um, the one surviving person amongst them, this man called Finton, made a deal with this tidal wave. He basically had, had run away from 50 women. It was him and 50 women. And um, they basically asked him to help them populate the island. And he did what any man would do in that scenario and just legged it. And, um, and he went straight up a mountain um, and hid in a cave. And, um, and, but then when he was there hiding, um, just kind of chilling out, laying low, um, he saw this humongous tidal wave coming, and before he could do anything, it had swept over everyone he knew and, and, and had journeyed with and come right up to the, the crest of his, his cave. And he kind of shouted, stop, stop. I learned this from the, the telling of my friend Sam Ricks, by the way. And, um, and the wave in, in my friend Sam's version, Rixie's version, the wave barters with him, and, he, and the wave says, why, why should I stop? What, what, what are you going to give me? Um, and he says, uh, and, uh, I don't know. Um, and, and the way is like, well, too late. I'm, I'm going to come get you. He says, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Um, okay, I, if, you, if you spare me, I promise to get to know this land better than anyone could possibly ever, ever do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into the minds of all the animals. I'm going to understand the plants. I'm going to learn all the song lines of, the, of, the, of Ireland and, and sing all the songs that could possibly be sung of it and, and live all the ways and and understandings of it. And the way goes, eh, okay. And swallows him up anyway. But then he actually doesn't die. He wakes up as a salmon and spends 500 years as a salmon, swimming through all the waterways of Ireland, getting to know every water course, all the streams and springs and, and all the sea surrounding seas. Then after that, he spends, he suddenly wakes up as an eagle, spends 500 years as an eagle, surveying Ireland from up above. And then one day he wakes up after those 500 years with having sprouted antlers and a beautiful glossy dark brown coat as a stag. He spends 500 years as a stag until the next wave of, of newcomers come to Ireland. And he agrees to then go and speak to them about all that he knows, all the, the ways of the plants and the animals and having lived as all of them. And he kind of becomes Finton the Wise. Um, and introduces all the new newcomers to Ireland. Um, so yeah, that's that's one of the origin stories of Ireland, and um, and I know that from the telling of my friend Sam Ricks from the Embers Collective. And this song is called "The Wexford Lullaby," and um, I know it from the singing of Jackie Oates. Lule, lula, my tiny child. Too soon you'll know of the world so wild. Yes, all too soon you shall be grown, and I'll bide here alone. alone. The rushing bellows you shall ride, and the light of the North Star will be your guide. But yet a while I have you near, Lule, my sweet one, my gentle dear. For you shall run in meadows green And sport with otters all in the stream And you shall chase with the dappled deer And swim with salmon 
in the waters clear to pluck the small birds from the sky on the tail of the south wind you shall fly and take the high hills for your home blood of my blood bone of my bone and when at last your course is run joy of my joy my little ones beneath the sky you'll stand alone and i'll bide here alone alone yes you shall stand on the cold black sands to cross all the waters of the western lands but now you are at your mother's breast Lule my sweet one gently rest mm, thank you very much so yeah that's the wexford lullaby from the singing of jackie oates and the rewriting of john renborn um, Right, okay, I'm gonna do another original now. And this is called Better Man. Actually, my dad inspired me to write this song because from the film, hello dad, lovely to see you. Um, from the film, As Good As It Gets, and it's a weird and wacky, brilliantly written film. And um, at, near the end, uh, not to spoil it or anything, but there's a lovely, beautifully written line about um, this neurotic um, character um, has fallen in love with this woman and, um, and kind of, th through his kind of personal isms, um, has really put her off. And then um, he's kind of back trying to win her affection again. And, um, and I think she, she turns to him and says, why should I listen to you? What, you know? nothing you say means anything to me and he says well you want you make me want to be a better man and that's his kind of big statement at the end of the end of the film and um is it kind of yeah taking it as an inspiring um kind of statement of love in your 
touch so close, so soft and calm. to share one of them um, a kind of more of a, a slower chanty sing-alongy one now um which is yeah it's called feel the thaw and i think a couple of you may have heard me sing it before and know it and um yeah feel feel very welcome to to sing along with this um hmm. Words of feel the thaw, thaw the river, let it flow, flowing where it needs to go. Um, and yeah, I was inspired by friends and, and people speaking about um, kind of um, the, the dynamics of energy in us all and how things may sometimes become kind of stuck or, or fixed or kind of some things like that going on it could be grief or anything else going on and um and that this energy is something that wants to kind of return into the river of life and to re-enter this lovely flow so it's like a kind of intention and imitation of that um i'm just going to check which key i'm singing this in Here we are. Feel the thaw. Feel the thaw. Thaw the river, let it flow. Flowing where it needs to go. Feel the thaw, feel the thaw, thaw the river, let it flow, flowing where it needs to go. Feel the thaw where the springs are born. Feel the thaw where the springs are born. Thaw the river, let it flow down from the mountain, flowing where it needs to go out to the sea. Feel the thaw where the springs are born. Feel the thaw where the springs are born. Thaw the river, let it flow down from the mountain, flowing where it needs to go, out to the sea. Feel. Feel the thaw, thaw the river, let it flow, flowing where it needs to go. 
feel the thorns, feel the thorns, through the river let it flow, flowing where it needs to go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, hey. Oh, so, got time for a couple more. And, yeah, I would like to do a newer song called City Streets. Um, so, actually, um, Meg, who's on here, was with me on this wonderful, hey, Meg. Um, wonderful folk song and nature connection weekend with our friend Stanley at Embercombe, and that was four years ago now, four, even longer. And um, that was wonderful. We heard Mac McCartney speak, and for me that was the first time. And I found him really inspiring. And he basically, one of his simplest things he proposes are the three questions: What do you love most? What are your gifts? and what are your responsibilities? Um, and kind of hearing him talk and, and being on that weekend and yeah, like feeling into all that inspiration, um, stay with me. And this song was kind of from, like I can trace it back to the beginning with that seed. Um, it's called City Streets. Um, it's like this vision of London, like London is a valley first and foremost. and there's archaeological evidence to suggest that before it was ever settled in the, in the modern sense, it was actually potentially this point in between all these different tribes and the river was untamable and would flood and, and, and kind of shrink back at different times. And, um, and so people didn't really settle there in this sense, but there are lots of ceremonial things they found, this beautiful Bronze Age shield and pikes, um, these fish that had just been buried, uncooked, uneaten, that might suggest that they um, were kind of like some kind of sacred spirit animal for the people who lived in London. Um, certainly salmon in Shakespeare's time, there were plentiful salmon still in the Thames. Um, there's a letter my friend Robin Bowman found um, where the people building the Globe Theatre asked that one meal not be salmon because they were sick of salmon every day. Lucky them. Um, yeah, so this is called City Streets. It's a bit of a kind of dreaming into um, what could be, what might be waking.
Foxes in the park, screeches in the dark, haunting owls on the bow of the beech tree. Sing the ceremony rites to call the land to wake again. The river of the heart, how can we start to free our blood waters clean? Our pollution and greed that we could drink from the streams, get down on our knees and pray. Thank you. Great. Ah, oh, we come to my last song. Um, this is oh, this is just so lovely to be here and share music with you all. Thank you all for being here, for tuning in, for braving Zoom, the unknown lands of Zoom, and um, and look how lovely it is. Thank you. Um, yeah, thanks to the technology that allows us to do this. Isn't that amazing? We're all in these different places, but we're kind of, kind of together, um, which is great. And thank you again so much to Samesh for being an absolute champion in, in organizing this all. It's, I'm really staggered and it's so helpful and like the, the help that you give to the artist is wonderful. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank you to all my dear, dear friends who tuned in and are watching this later, um, who I feel your support, yeah, friends and family especially, um, feel your support and your love and yeah, just seeing you as who you are and being very, very special people to me and I love you very much. Um, this is a song I've just put out on YouTube. You can find it on YouTube and it's called One Piece at a Time. And I'm going to be transitioning to my nickname from when I was a kid that my dear friend Jigger, um, hi Jigger, um, uh, gave me, which is Swift. And it's after the birds, the birds Swift, that you see arriving in the spring in the British Isles. Um, and they move like this. Um, so that under my artist's name, Swift. And you can find that on YouTube. And I'm intending to put out more things under that name. So. So check out that. Um, and uh, it's called One Piece at a Time. And I want to thank John Young um, for his inspiration in this kind of indirect um, and kind of direct inspiration in all of this. And for the elders who've um, mentored him and all the things that he's kind of gathered in this wonderful bundle um, of awesomeness over his lifetime um, and yeah just called one piece at a time <laughs> Story at a time. 
When our hearts and minds come together combined. When our hearts and minds come together combined. And I thought I heard the people say, We won't wait for another day. And I know that we can find a way to share. We will be our true selves one day at a time. We will be and shine one gift at a time. We will weave our love one thread at a time. When our hearts and minds come together combined, when our hearts and so much bye thank you <laughs> uh, thank you so much it's been so lovely thank you all for joining and those who are listening later thank you big hug to all of you I wonder if we can all unmute and have a little Thank you so much as well. You're welcome, brother. Well done. Thank you. Um, thank you for bringing all your family. <laughs> Dad and... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks yeah. to them for joining. It's all really the, lovely. The whole raving fans. And <laughs> <laughs> yes. Awesome. Um, well thank you know you who you are. <laughs> Um, I normally say you, I would have said you're a force of nature, but that doesn't quite describe it. <laughs> 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 you're a force of nature love. <laughs> nice, uh, nice. Know, but I think you've um, gained a whole new group of, of um, raving fans tonight. <laughs> and just, uh, yeah, this is incredible, man. Just hats off to you. And Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Okay. Thanks for all you're doing, and it's really lovely to come together here. Yeah. I love your passion. I love your your joie de vivre. Nice. I love your uh, yeah your 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 real enthusiasm. It really shines through. I am. And um, yeah, just keep on doing what you're doing. You're, you're you're doing good, man. Just keep keep it up and keep sharing your love and keep care, keep sharing your spirit because Thank the you. world needs it, man. Yeah. Um, and thank you to Anna for putting me in touch with the, the, the gig as well. Yeah. Thanks, lovely Anna. Great. What a what a find you are. And looking forward to is yeah you know what am I saying it right coming up next? Stay tuned. Yeah, that's right. They're really excited to hear them. Yeah, now uh, I yeah I hope he's getting on sometime. It should be around. Yeah. Should be. So don't go anywhere, folks. There's love more lovely music to come. And, now that and there's a, a whole tickets, festival of this. Yeah, we've still got another. 
five days left. I think this is day seven. So we've still got five days left. And you can come join the Zoom call. You can listen to it on uh, Facebook. You can also listen to it on radio as well. We have a radio <laughs> app that you can just download and listen to it that way as well. So one more time, ladies and gentlemen, can we have a big round of applause for Jack Dirtnell? Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Incredible, stupendous, and sensational altogether. If there was one word for that, I'd say it, but I don't think there is. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Thanks for joining. Amazing. Thank you. Thanks. So. So, ladies and gents, um, let's see if Jan Janowa is in the house. Um. <laughs> Waking up to the bedroom rolls What has it been there in your sleep that wasn't there? Okay, so I've got a, another song now. Um, this one, okay, so this one 
on this call there is Vicky, I've seen Vicky, and we were part of a lovely Nature Connection um, year course program, and Vicky led it, um, co-led it, and um, and we did this kind of this fire quest where you stay up all night with a fire, and you tend this fire from 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 its birth to death, um, and the intention is to um, to kind of allow the embers of this fire to go out as the, the sun rises on the next day. It's a really beautiful um, experience. So that was the second one I did, and I did that with Vicky, um, facilitating it. And, but on the first one I ever did, in the middle of the night, I was kind of moving around and to keep warm and everything. And, um, and came, this song came through, and it's, it's kind of like an intention song. It's called There's a Chamber. There's a chamber within my heart, way down low, within my heart, way down low. There's a chamber within my heart, way down low, within my heart, way down low. Let it open within my heart. Percussion instruments as well. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Lovely to see you all. Um, okay, so ah, oh, there's actually like a quieter song I'd like to do now. Um, and this song I actually wrote. Excuse me, lovely words. Okay, this song I actually wrote um, at a dear friend of ours called Vanessa's place in France, and she kind of recently moved there with her partner and young son, and um, and we were visiting um, as a wider family, and it was really lovely to to be at the gathering there. And there's this old 
ruined um, farmhouse on the side of a hill where me and um, the sons of some of my friends, these, these young kids, went and explored and found like barn owl feathers and saw a kestrel flying out of it. And, and you could probably hear a tawny owl near there at night. Um, and so that, that's the setting in, in the spring where I wrote this song. Um, yeah, and, and at this place there's nightingales and I even pitched a tent under this tree where a nightingale had been the night before and just, it was really difficult to get to sleep because it was so loud, but really beautiful. Um, so this song is called True You. check out who's on page two of the gallery because there's more people that's nice great to see you all thank you so much for coming and being here for those if you just tuned in just joining um the schedule's running about an hour behind my name is jack Dutton, and i'm playing between 10 and 11 and then um and then the schedule will continue after that so um thank you for all being here um oh anna just joined hi anna um <laughs> Thanks to all the people here who, um, firstly, who I don't know for being here. It's so lovely to see you all. And also thank you to all the people here um, who have supported me, inspired me, um, shared friendship with me, um, just been great.
great friends. Um, yeah. Being lots of love for you all. Thank you. Um, yeah. And, oh, Misty, who do you think? Um, okay, right, right, right. Um, what am I doing next? So, oh, yeah. So I'd do a little bit of a, a kind of a gentle moment in the set. This is the Manx lullaby, which is a traditional song. I actually first heard through Anna singing, I think. dyslexic pigeon there but I hope that was audible. Thank you all. Um, oh, so lovely to be here. Thank you all for joining. Okay right next what's coming next? I'd like to do a song called The Tide and um, I played this on many a Nature Connection camp. Um, It's one of my favourite songs I've written, so I hope you enjoy it. It's a joy to share it with you all. Tide and 
the time Waves on your shore Silence and the roar That comes across the space and time Between our walls As I feel your senses cold And my heart's pitch and roll On the swell Of the tide It's time to go But tonight I'll hold you with me and Wake up in the arms of your scent Your voice, your touch, your glow The echoes of your closeness resound starting to feel really cozy getting used to you all. Thank you so much for joining. Um, got time for a few more songs and um, yeah, actually a fair few more songs. And um, my name is Jack for anyone who's just joined and um, you're very welcome, all of you. Thank you for being here. I would next like to do a, a semi-traditional song because this tune is a very, very old ancient traditional song tune from Wexford in Ireland. Um, however, this is a rewriting of it, and it's rewritten by a man called John Renborn, and I know it through the singing of Jackie Oates. And it's called the Wexford Lullaby instead of the Wexford Carol. Same tune, different song. Um, and yeah, I find the song really inspiring, um, quite magical. There's lots of shape shifting in it by the feel of it. Um, the last verse is full of ancient lore and legend and, and, and natural and, and, and elements of nature. And the last verse of it um, speaks about the tradition um, in these islands here of, um, of humans kind of coming from somewhere else. I'm not sure exactly where, um, especially in Ireland, there's many stages of, of um, influx of of people to Ireland, um, from the first, the first wave of people with Cesare and Finton to the Milesians and the Tui de Dan and all sorts of people. But um, there's, there's also a tradition that they came from the West and the Western lands being this kind of far off mystical, unreachable place. They're not talking about America, it's somewhere else. Um, perhaps what in other stories is called Tien and Oak. And in the last verse, um, the land of the young, so Tina Naomi is the land of the young. In the last verse, the singer talks about, you shall stand on the coal black sands. And I've been to a place that exists that is like that, this place in Iceland, where there are these basalt, hexagonal basalt columns in a black beach, and it's something out of Tolkien almost. Um, but I can just imagine um, setting off to the western lands from that beach. Um, yeah, also in the second verse, there's, there's talk of otters and, and, um, and deer and salmon. And um, just to give a brief 
sense of this, this story of the first wave of humans to land on Ireland, um, the one surviving person amongst them, this man called Finton, made a deal with this tidal wave. He basically had, had run away from 50 women. It was him and 50 women. And um, they basically asked him to help them populate the island. And he did what any man would do in that scenario and just legged it. And, um, and he went straight up a mountain um, and hid in a cave. And, um, and, but then when he was there hiding, um, just kind of chilling out, laying low, um, he saw this humongous tidal wave coming, and before he could do anything, it had swept over everyone he knew and, and, and had journeyed with and come right up to the, the crest of his, his cave. And he kind of shouted, stop, stop. I learned this from the, the telling of my friend Sam Ricks, by the way. And, um, and the wave in, in my friend Sam's version, Rixie's version, the wave barters with him, and, he, and the wave says, why, why should I stop? What, what, what are you, you going to give me? Um, and he says, uh, 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 I don't know. Um, and, and the way is like, well, too late. I'm, I'm going to come get you. He says, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Um, okay, I, if, you, if you spare me, I promise to get to know this land better than anyone could possibly ever, ever do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into the minds of all the animals. I'm going to understand the plants. I'm going to learn all the song lines of, the, of, the, of Ireland and, and sing all the songs that could possibly be sung of it and, and live all the ways and and understandings of it and the way goes okay and swallows him up anyway but then he actually doesn't die he wakes up as a salmon and spends 500 years as a salmon swimming through all the waterways of Ireland getting to know every water course all the streams and springs and and all the sea surrounding seas then after that he spends he suddenly wakes up as an eagle spends 500 years as an eagle surveying Ireland from up above and then one day he wakes up after those 500 years with having sprouted antlers and a beautiful glossy dark brown coat as a stag. And he spends 500 years as a stag until the next wave of, of newcomers come to Ireland. And he agrees to then go and speak to them about all that he knows, all the, the ways of the plants and the animals and having lived as all of them. And he kind of becomes Finton the Wise um, and introduces all the new newcomers to Ireland. Um, so yeah, that's that's one of the origin stories of Ireland, and um, and I know that from the telling of my friend Sam Ricks from the Embers Collective. And this song is called "The Wexford Lullaby," and um, I know it from the singing of Jackie Oates. Lou, lay, lou, la, my tiny child. Too soon you'll know of the world so wild. Yes, all too soon you shall be grown. And I'll bide here alone, alone. The rushing bellows you shall ride And the light of the North Star will be your guide But yet a while I have you near Lule, my sweet one, my gentle dear for you shall run in meadows green And sport with otters all in the stream And you shall chase with the dappled deer And swim with salmon in the waters clear to pluck the small birds from the sky On the tail of the south wind you shall fly And take the high hills for your home Blood of my blood, bone of my bone 
And when at last your course is run, joy of my joy, my little one, beneath the sky you'll stand alone, and I'll bide here alone, alone. Yes, you shall stand on the cold black sands to cross all the waters of the western lands. But now you are at your mother's breast. Lule, my sweet one, Gently rest. Mm, thank you very much. So yeah, that's the Wexford lullaby from the singing of Jackie Oates and the rewriting of John Renborn. Um, All right, okay, I'm gonna do another original now. And this is called Better Man. Actually, my dad inspired me to write this song because from the film, hello dad, lovely to see you. Um, from the film, As Good As It Gets, and it's a weird and wacky, brilliantly written film. And um, at, near the end, uh, not to spoil or anything, but there's a lovely, beautifully written line about um, this neurotic um, character um, has fallen in love with this woman and um, and kind of through his kind of personal isms um, has really put her off and then um, he's kind of back trying to win her affection again. And um, and I think she, she turns to him and says, why should I listen to you? What, you know? Nothing you're saying means anything to me. And he says, well, you, want, you make me want to be a better man. And that's his kind of big statement at the end of the, end of the film. And um, it's kind of, yeah, taking it as an inspiring um, kind of statement of love. Falling for 
coffee conversations with you in the sweet dark. You're shining through in me, your love is shining through. Shining through in me, your love is shining through. Thank you. Ah, oh, I'd um, I'd like to share one of them, um, a kind of more of a, a slower, chanty, sing alongy one now, um, which is, yeah, it's called Feel the Thor, and I think a couple of you may have heard me sing it before and know it. And, um, yeah, feel feel very welcome to to sing along with this. Um, words of feel the thaw, thaw the river, let it flow, flowing where it needs to go. Um, and yeah, I was inspired by friends and and people speaking about um, kind of. Um, the, the dynamics of energy in us all and how things may sometimes become kind of stuck or or fixed or kind of some things like that going on. It could be grief or anything else going on. And um, and that this energy is something that wants to kind of return into the river of life and to re-enter this lovely flow. So it's like a kind of intention and invitation of that. And I'm just going to check which key I'm singing this in. Here we are. Feel the thaw. Feel the thaw. Flowing where it needs to go. Feel the thaw. Feel the thaw. Thaw the river, let it flow. Flowing where it needs to go. Feel the thaw where the springs are born. Feel the thaw where the springs are born. Thaw the river, let it flow down from the mountain. Flowing where it needs to go out to the sea. Feel the thaw where the springs are born. Feel the thaw where the springs are born. Thaw the river, let it flow down from the mountain. Flowing where it needs to go out to the sea. Feel the thaw, feel the thaw, thaw the river, let it flow, flowing where it needs to go, feel the thaw. Feel the thaw, thaw the river, let it flow, flowing where it needs to go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Oh, hey. Oh, so, got time for a couple more. And, yeah, I would like to do a newer song called City Streets. Um, so, actually, um, Meg, who's on here, was with me on this wonderful, hey Meg, um, wonderful folk song, The Nature Connection Weekend, with our friend Sam Lee at Embercoom. And that was four years ago now, four, even longer. And um, that was wonderful. We heard Mac McCartney speak, and for me that was the first time. And I found him really inspiring. And he basically, one of his simplest things he proposes are the three questions. What do you love most? What are your gifts? And what are your responsibilities? Um, and kind of hearing him talk and, and being on that weekend and, yeah, like feeling into all that inspiration, um, stay with me. And this song was kind of from, like, I can trace it back to the beginning with that seed. Um, it's called City Streets. Um, it's like this vision of London. Like, London is a valley, first and foremost. And there's archaeological evidence to suggest that before it was ever settled in the, in the modern sense, it was actually potentially this point in between all these different tribes and the river was untamable and would flood and 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 kind of shrink back at different times and um, and so people didn't really settle there in this sense but there are lots of ceremonial things they found this beautiful bronze age shield and pikes um, these fish that had just been buried uncooked, uneaten, that might suggest that they um, were kind of like some kind of sacred spirit animal for the people who lived in London. Um, certainly salmon in Shakespeare's time, there were plentiful salmon still in the Thames. Um, there's a letter my friend Robin Bowman found um, where the people building the Globe Theatre asked that one meal not be salmon because they were sick of salmon every day. Lucky them. Um, yeah, so this is called City Streets. It's a bit of a kind of dreaming into um, what could be, what might be waking. Our pollution and greed that we could drink from the streams get 
come to my last song um this is oh this is just so lovely to be here and share music with you all thank you all for being here for tuning in for braving zoom the unknown lands of zoom and um and look how lovely it is thank you um yeah thanks to the technology that allows us to do this isn't that amazing we're all in these different places but we're kind of kind of together um which is great and thank you again so much to Samesh for being an absolute champion in in organizing this all it's I'm really staggered and it's so helpful and like the the help that you give to the artist is wonderful thank you um yeah thank you to all my dear dear friends who tuned in and are watching this later um who I feel your support, yeah, friends and family, especially, um, feel your support and your love and, yeah, just seeing you as who you are and being very, very special people to me. And I love you very much. Um, this is a song I've just put out on YouTube. You can find it on YouTube and it's called One Piece at a Time. And I'm going to be transitioning to my nickname from when I was a kid that my dear friend Jigger, um, hi Jigger, um, uh, gave me, which is swift, and it's after the birds, the birds swift, that you see arriving in the spring in the British Isles, um, and they move like this. Um, so that under my artist name, Swift, and you can find that on YouTube, and I'm intending to put out more things under that name, so, so check out that. Um, and uh, it's called One Piece at a Time, and I want to thank John Young um, for his inspiration in this kind of indirect um, and kind of direct inspiration in all of this, and for the elders who've um, mentored him, and all the things that he's kind of gathered in this wonderful bundle um, of awesomeness over his lifetime. Um, and yeah, just called one piece at a time. We will put it all back together, one piece at a time. We will learn to mend our hearts one piece at a time. We will let flow our grieving one piece at a time. When our hearts and minds come together, combine. When our hearts and minds come together. We will cry out for our healing, one voice at a time. We will let flow our senses, one breath at a time. We will hear each other, one story at a time. When our hearts and minds come together, combine. When our hearts and minds come together.
We will be our true selves One day at a time We will beam and shine One gift at a time We will weave our love One thread at a time When our hearts and minds Come together and combine When our hearts so much it's been so lovely thank you all for joining and those who are listening later thank you big hug to all of you i wonder if we can all unmute and have a little bye thank you so much as well you're welcome brother well done thank you um, thank you for bringing all your family, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to them for joining. It's really lovely. The, the whole f raving fans. And <laughs> <laughs> yes. Awesome. Um, thanks you for know who you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the raving fans there. Um, I normally say you, I would have said you're a force of nature, but that doesn't quite describe it. <laughs> 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 You're a force of nature, love. <laughs> nice, I nice. Think that's better. I think you've um, gained a whole new group of of um, raving fans tonight. You just, uh, yeah, just incredible, man. Just hats off to you. Thank and you very much. Um, Thanks so much. Thanks for all you're doing, and it's really lovely to come together here. So welcome. Yeah, I love your passion. I love your your joie de vivre. Nice. I love your, uh, yeah, your 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 real enthusiasm, which really shines through. Right on. And um, yeah, just keep on doing what you're doing. You you're doing good, man. Just keep keep it up and keep sharing your love and keep ca keep sharing your spirit because okay. the world needs it, man. Yeah. Um. And thank you to Anna for putting me in touch with the, the with the gig as well. Yeah. Thanks, lovely. Anna. What a what a find you are. And looking forward to is yeah. You know what? Am I saying it right? Coming up next. Stay tuned. Yeah, that's right. There's really excited to hear that. Noah, uh, who I hope he's getting on sometime. Sh should be around. Yeah. Could so be. don't go anywhere, folks. There's lo yeah. more lovely music to come. And, and there's a whole tickets. festival of this. Yeah, we still got another five days left. I think this day seven. So we've still got five days left. And you can come join the Zoom call. You can listen to it on uh, Facebook. You can also listen to it on radio as well. We have a radio app that you can just download and listen to it that way as well. So one more time, ladies and gentlemen, can we have a big round of applause for Jack Dirtnell? Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Incredible, stupendous, and sensational. Altogether, if there was one word for that, I'd say it, but I don't think there is. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Thanks for joining. Amazing. Thank you. Thanks.